Subaru inventory is growing on dealer lots, but so are sales volumes. In the month of November, Subaru reached its 16th straight month over month sales increase. So 2023 is on pace to be the first time we've seen a sales volume increase since 2019. And the Subaru Forester continues to be the top seller with a 64% increase from this time last year in sales. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys some sales data for 2023, the month of November, and what it looks like ahead for Subaru, and also share with you guys some insight and details if you are in the market for a new Subaru, where to look out for the best deals, what models might you have the best opportunities to get discounts on, and more. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this, all on Subaru-related topics. If you enjoy those kinds of videos, click that subscribe button down below. And if you do enjoy today's video, please remember to click the like button. In the month of November, Subaru sold just above 53,000 units here in the US. Compare that to 2022. In the month of November, they sold just above 50,000 units, which was a 6.4% increase year over year. And there are two models that contributed to this increase significantly. One is the Subaru Crosstrek, the other is the Subaru Forester. The Subaru Crosstrek was the number one selling model in 2022, and it continues to be a top performer in 2023. This behind me is a 2024 model year, and for the month of November, Subaru sold 14,994 units, which was an 18% increase from this time last year. Subaru redesigned the Crosstrek this year, and there are quite a few details that make this a much better vehicle than the previous generation. If you wanna see full details on what they changed, click on the YouTube card above to the right. But on top of that, not only did they make the Crosstrek better, but they also changed the production or where this vehicle is produced. So last year, it was 100% produced all over in Japan at the Japanese plant. And now this year, they moved half of the production over to the Lafayette, Indiana plant here in North America. So all of the 2.5 liter cross treks are now produced in Indiana. All the two liter cross treks, the lower trim level cross treks are made over in the Japanese plant. This means that those vehicles that are produced over here have seen less delays and less constraints when it comes to logistics and getting those cars to us. So we've had more production, more vehicles arrive to dealer lots because of that. The Subaru Forester continues to be a top seller and saw the biggest increase year over year in the month of November. So in 2022, in the month of November, the Forester sold just over 9,000 units. And for the month of November in 2023, this was our number one selling model. It sold just above 15,000 units, just barely beating the Subaru Crosstrek and making this an impressive 64% increase in sales volume. The Forester is still produced 100% over at the Gunma Japan plant, but we haven't had the supply constraints or the delays or shutdowns like we have seen in previous years. So because of that, Subaru has been able to create more Subaru Foresters this year and therefore have been able to sell a lot more than they did this time last year. Year to date, Subaru has sold just above 574,000 units here in the US, and they're on track to sell another 60,000 units in the month of December, putting us close to pre-pandemic levels. So in 2019, Subaru sold 700,000 units, and in 2020, when everything, when the world fell apart, Subaru sold just 635,000 units. So in 21 and 22, we saw a decrease in sales volume. And this year in 23, we are expected to see an increase once again. Here at Bachman Subaru in Louisville, Kentucky, we also saw our best new car sales month in the month of November. And we are on track to have a really good opportunity to have our best month in the month of December because not only do we have 30 new Subarus available for sale right now, but we also have a little over 100 new Subarus coming to the lot this month, which means we have an incredible opportunity to sell a ton of new cars before the end of the year. And as everybody knows, the end of the year, the end of the month, that's the best time to try to negotiate a deal and get the best deal you can on any new car, especially when you actually have inventory on your local dealership's lot. For the last few years, we haven't had inventory on the lot and people have been stuck with what's available or by doing custom orders, which does not give you any 
any leverage when it comes to trying to ask for a discount. Now we finally have inventory on the lot and a lot of people will ask me, where can I get the best deal? Well, look for your models that have more supply actually on the dealership's lot. A prime example right now is going to be the Subaru Outbacks and the Subaru Ascents. They have some of the best finance rates being offered on the Outbacks and the Ascents, but when you compare that to, say, a Forester or the Subaru Crosstrek, you might not see as good of a deal and you might not have as much leverage when it comes to trying to get a discount. The reason for this is pretty much because of sales volume and demand. So as we've seen this year, the Crosstrek and the Forester have the most demand and those are some of the toughest Subarus to get. So you're likely not going to have as good of an opportunity there to ask for a discount. So overall, we have more inventory finally arriving to lots. Demand is still holding strong for a lot of these Subaru models, but there might be some opportunities there to actually start to try to negotiate on the car that you want to purchase. I hope you guys found this video helpful today. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. If you have any questions, leave those comments below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.